All right, hey, Leo. You guys, I am doing a singles love read for you. And this is going to be um, with the intention of a new person coming towards you, all right? So um, if it starts to kind of feel like it's somebody from the past, please just check your other placements and be positive in the commenting section, all right? But um, let's see what chakras are coming through for clearance, unblocking, aligning. If you're new, welcome to the channel, you guys. I do hope that you will stick around and subscribe. Um, I do all kinds of readings. This is not the only kind. Um, what, what else? If it resonates, please, you guys, uh, I'll ask you to comment or like the video so that other people have the opportunity to see it. But you're coming through with the heart chakra. All right. So, um, Rodon Knight. Rodon Knight. Rodon Knight. <laughs> Rhodonite, Rhodonite, love, love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action, all right, so doing a, a little clearance and unblocking of the heart chakra, or just listening to that um, um, 536 uh, hertz, um, what is it, 423, 536, you also have the third eye chakra, so tourmaline, trust um, and trust your intuition, it is the contact with it is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. Um, and that intuition could be telling you that somebody is coming up on you any day now. Um, all right. And that's believing in that intuition too. So you're going to know this is your read by all this next energy that I pull. So your, your energy, you're not seeing something like the cards won't even let me, um, they won't even let me here's what i'm going to say justice card coming through tells me that you could have been through a divorce at one point or, or another uh, with a, a, an air sign and the devil card coming through could be a representation of how this person was to you and you could still be holding on to that leo um potentially here's what i'm going to say this is a 30-day intention read um, and the fact that this type of energy is coming through um, tells me, all right, you got to remember that we call in what we are and the energy that we embody. So clear, you guys need to clear your, um, your heart space, all right, because not everybody's a POS, okay? Not everybody's going to be... Um, uh, not everybody's going to be like, oh, I don't know what I want. Oh, I'm going to just breadcrumb. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Not everybody's a bad person. Justice card tells me that you guys could have actually went through um, a pretty crappy uh, divorce or a breakup. Um, and you might look at um, the the, uh, the male or female that you're attracted to as the devil. All right. Um, but you really need to clear that energy away because that energy is uh, it's going to call in somebody that's that's you're you're basically attracting negative energy being in that and i feel like what your angels and spirit guides are saying is you, there's a new opportunity and i don't feel like this is brand new energy i feel like this could be something that's ha uh, happened in the past and you're just really unsure um listen to this this 963 for your uh, third eye um listen to the 536 for the heart okay and just really put yourself in a place a beautiful place of amazing energy um we have the full moon tomorrow so write down what this what you've been through write it down forgive burn the paper and just allow the new to come to you okay um when it comes to your love life how it's been in the past um i feel that you know maybe you move too fast for sure all right maybe you've moved too fast with um with somebody even after the uh, I, I really feel like there's a, a bad breakup or a divorce coming through um but maybe you move too fast um after that all right it could be with somebody at work um it could be that you tried to work on something and it just it just kept falling through so it just kind of gave you no hope all right so how do you feel let's see how you feel about love you you go back and forth you're going back and forth when it comes to love you you want it but yet you don't because ultimately what i see is you're doing just fine on your own with this queen of pentacles energy you make your money 
you got your independence and I feel like you kind of go back and forth um, when it comes to how you feel about love I want it I do all right I do but I don't all right it's, it's it could be too that you just kind of get tired of meeting flaky ass people that don't stick that, that don't stick to your energy they're they're not up to par with your energy and you're just kind of tired of calling that in um and what i want to tell you is anything that you're holding on to the past it just needs to be um it needs to be cut it needs to be uh burned it needs to be healed forgiven released because honestly if you really want somebody in your life you guys can't um carry on holding that weight or okay because it's not going to build it's not calling in healthy relationships in the future if you hold on to it. All right. So let's see who's coming towards you. This better be some good freaking energy. For Leo. Who is coming towards Leo? I, I knew I knew it. I knew it. Look at that. I knew it. Somebody is going to come in and really shift your whole your whole perspective. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. The tower card. This tower card happened for a reason. The tower card that you've been through that you've maybe even held on to for some time has has happened as a catalyst for you to see a positive situation. Okay, so you let go of the shitty shit that happened. That negative tower moment that happened. I feel like there was one big one here, okay, that's coming through. And, and all the rest that come after the big one could just be a little crappy, um, um, what's the point of that type of energy but with this tower card coming through the person that's coming towards you um i feel that they are being sent to you by angels all right because this is a catalyst for positive something positive to happen okay the person coming towards you um, they are spiritually enlightened all right this person is a healed version of themselves and look at they embody the same queen of pentacles energy this person does not need anybody they're very independent they're very self-sufficient I could actually see you guys maybe owning a business um, independent of each other, but bringing that together. Uh, even if it's not about business, you guys are very, very well to do on your own. You don't need anybody. Um, this tower card too tells me that this person's been through some crappy things also. All right, but they've pulled and been able to transmute that negative energy. So you, you're being called to this person and they're being called to you. Now it's up to you to transmute whatever last energy you're hanging on to so you can meet this person. All right. What is this person like? Look at that. This is going to be a past life. Um, this is going to be a past life person right here. Judgment card coming through. And I get it. This is um, the past, calling in the past, the angels of the past. But I feel like this is somebody that's going to be a past life. Um, that Hierophant card coming through with judgment tells me this is going to be a soul connection. Um, one that brings a lot of fulfillment. All right. This person, just look at you guys right there in that, that um, energy. Cuddling, hugging, um, d being content and saying this is what life is supposed to be. And just being really super comfortable and just at ease with each other and able to talk. And, and just, it's like this, like hearing somebody breathe, they're smelling their skin. Like you guys really take all of that in. And I can just see that with you guys. The common interests you guys will share is the transformation that you both have gone through. All right. I, and for whoever's here, I'm just going to tell you, I do feel like you're going to be able to transmute this energy like quick. Um, seriously, look at all this positive energy, the favorable, the common interest, the favorable aspects. You guys um, look at you guys have done work. You are ready to transform. You're ready to transmute this negative energy. Favorable aspects. This death card coming through says you guys are on point, man. Um, you both have healed. All right, you both have healed Leo. And if you're still holding on to anything um, that, that could be in tune with negative energy, it's time to let that go. All right, because look at this. You guys, look, you have the lovers, the two of cups, the Hierophant card, the ten of cups. I mean, this is all such beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, like, how could you not want this? It is time to let any, any little bit go that does not serve you. All right, because this right here is waiting for you, you guys. This is awesome. And this tells me that you guys are going to be stick, sticking together like glue, man man you guys are really going to be sticking together like glue that's beautiful um so let's just see the advice what is your advice to call this person in in the next 30 days your advice wow is it's coming you need to hang tight man hang tight sweet cheeks because look at strength card coming through all all you need to do is 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 
you got to cut that energy whatever's coming through that i see that you're kind of holding on to you guys you got to cut that out okay cut it out just be strong cut it out and know that what belongs to you is being led to you look at that you have the queen of coins the king of coins the lovers the the two of cups this is a true freaking connection you guys and this is with somebody new the full card represents a brand new beginning and i'm going to tell you this for a, a very very slim few of you who have somebody from the past that they're going to come back under a, a completely transfer a transformation under complete transformation um, but i feel this is very very prominent to new energy um you have divine count you have the king and queen of coins i mean the full card the lovers the two of cups and then look at that you guys have this ace of cups coming through with that brand new beginning in love you don't know this person they could be a taurus virgo or capricorn specifically a virgo um, but that's beautiful let's see what your guys's soul card is the soul cards coming through life is constantly changing yet at its core it remains the same love does not change it only grows stronger change is simply love unfolding it's a never-ending story oh look at that and your spiritual awareness is growing and so too is your sexuality sensuality is heightened and this has a magical effect on the one you love a sacred union is reborn love is the present moment so some of you i do feel like there is going to be for a slim few a rebirth of somebody from your past however i feel like the majority of this points to brand new energy leo this is beautiful coming through we have aquarius pisces and cancer and let's see all right you guys got x two x's matter of fact that can, that could be a that could be a, an indication for somebody who's really wanting this past person to come back you got double x coming back like at strike one and strike two and this is going to be strike three and they're out right you got you in g the q d f and we have l coming through all right um leo i'm gonna leave it there i love you guys this is beautiful um please you guys comment let me know who's resonating with this like the video so that it, it'll circulate um but beyond that you guys take it easy